we have a little precious. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Hey, hey, who knows if this thing is gonna even capture me, but hi. This is Ashley, I'm in a cemetery. My gimbal is kind of freaking out. It doesn't know where to look and I hate that. Why are you doing this? recording again. Hopefully my technology can behave. Ooh, alligator. That's pretty cool, huh? I just don't know why my technology won't behave. Another 1950-something baby, infant daughter. Somebody here with us? You want to talk to us? We can hear you. We hear you walking around. I heard you earlier. We're not here to do you harm. That angel statue keeps scaring me. Mm -hmm. You heard that? Mm -mm. You're not hearing any of that? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Let's go. Can you go in? Yes. Okay. It hasn't been open in a minute, but yeah. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. Ashley, look. I know. Look at this. Oh, There's a tree God. growing in this one. I wonder if they planted a tree in the grave so the people can grow as trees. You know how some people... No. That didn't even come out until... Look at this. Right in the middle of the freaking grave. And look, another one right there. Look at it. You can't even... There's no anything. Damn. Nothing. Right in the middle of the place. Are any of you here with us tonight? <coughs> 1936. No, 19, yeah. So this person here died in 1936. I honestly think, oh, you know what? Well, no, that is right in the grave. I wonder if they did plant, or if this is out. No, look, Mom, that's another grave. So let's be careful not to walk through it. And this is right in between the two graves. No, this tree grew after these people were placed in it. Well, yeah, I'm just saying this is a grave. Look. I know. I see it. Right here. Yeah, Good thing we walked right here. <laughs> this one is not taken care of at all. I think I hit the button that time. It was my fault. 
so nobody's even been in there in forever. Yeah. Which makes me sad. Like, <gasps> did you hear that? Yep. I sure did. Someone's I in here. That one. Uh, I'm not saying it's not. I just want to see if someone's op someone opened and closed the gate. Okay, I'm focused on if there's a person in here that could be drunk on Super Bowl night. You know, I know you're hearing cars going by, it's annoying, but let me tell you, it's a little unnerving whenever you hear the a gate clink, like someone opened and closed it. There's a lot of gates here. God, I'm sorry if my camera work sucks right now. I'm a little nervous, but uh, it's very unnerving whenever you hear a gate open and close and you're in the middle of a cemetery at night. That was somebody messing with a gate out here. That's my mom opening another one. She wants to go check out some more graves. I'm wondering, you know, part of my skepticism, which these days, I mean, I still have some, but not a whole lot after things I've seen and experienced before, but still, I think that couldn't have been anyone but a, a person, a living person, but at the same time, I've had crazier things happen. My mom telling me can't right now. All right. Where are you? You're way the hell back there. <sighs> All right, guys, so I have taken my camera off the gimbal, so it's not going to be quite as smooth. How do I get over to you? So it's not gonna be quite as smooth as you've been used to for, I don't know, the last couple of ones that I've actually filmed. But, um, hmm, I can't, I don't know where to, how do I get to you? Why are you walking down there? I don't know. I want to come over here. Are you okay? I just... Yeah. I'm having to use my phone as a flashlight. Um... Are you crying? No. Yes, you are. No. You're sad. Do you feel something? I'm feeling uneasy out here. Only because I heard the clinking of the, I know, that happened a lot back in the day. Hey everyone. Sorry for the crazy bright light. We are here in the cemetery in the middle of nowhere. Um, well, not really the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's right off of a highway, like a back highway. Um, and I'm feeling super uneasy. My mom's feeling super emotional. And it's just, it's an interesting place. I swear I heard the clink and clink of someone opening and closing one of these gates. My mom didn't hear it. This place is like weird. It's honestly creeping me out a little bit. Mama, you gotta be careful. What? Opening yourself up too much. You're feeling everything right now. You're probably, you're, you're feeling everyone's sadness right now.
Hold on. I'm hearing my mom yell for me. And there's a... Yeah, what's up? I can't hear you. Hold on. Something's going on. I hear you. What? I don't know how you got in there. I, I don't... It, everything's blocked off. There's no way in or out of that area on this side. I don't know that you were you were right here and then all of a sudden I turned around and you're way over there on the other side of the fence. You went through a gate somewhere? Okay. I I'm not going over there. No ma'am. I'm feeling weird about this place. Yeah. I know you're feeling an emotional attachment of some sort here. Have you heard anyone or just you feeling no, things? Feel... See, we're feeling like the opposite right now. I'm feeling you're feeling very comfortable and connected. And I'm feeling very uncomfortable and not wanted. Yeah. Anywhere beyond that, I heard that. I heard it. Hell no. That was two very loud voices. We gotta go. I don't know. I just, I heard a hey. You wanna close that gate? You opened it. <sighs> just, I'm not leaving you, don't Hey guys, it's me, Ashley and Lori. We are um, kind of doing a wrap up of this video. I wanna explain a little bit of what you just experienced. It was a very last moment thing. We did not prep for this video at all. We just found a cemetery, we heard about it and stopped. Um, so yeah, a few things happened. I felt very um, unsafe, uncomfortable. I heard someone or something open and close a gate. Um, I felt very unwelcomed. She, on the other hand, had a deep connection, an emotional connection of some sort with whatever spirits were left behind. But we both kind of just had the desire to look around the, uh, the cemetery. So the whole thing really did just start out as this exciting little adventure and it turned into me feeling weird and threatened. Um, I was a little scared of someone calling the cops on us thinking we're doing something wrong. Um, but uh, mostly I, I wasn't really scared until I heard the clinking and clanking of what sounded like somebody opening and closing one of the gates, but I couldn't see anyone there. So I went from being excited to being a little fearful and kind of ready to get out of there. I felt a little threatened. She, on the other hand, went from being excited to feeling super emotional and sad, yeah. feeling all this residual energy left over from, I'm assuming, all of these burials. There were a lot of infants. So um, we may or may not go back to this place again. There are a lot of old cemeteries around this area. So uh, yeah, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Like and subscribe to our channel. Again, this was just a spontaneous thing. We actually do prepped and ready to go full on fun adventures as far as explorations of abandoned spaces as well as paranormal investigations. Um, thanks so much for coming on. <laughs>